Hey everyone, it's Jill Lovett, and this is part two for my uh, haul video. So, now Michaels. First off, let me start by saying that I got the Ranger Melting Pot. It's not here because it has some UD in it already that is kind of red, but um, I didn't want to show that to you, but it's in the kitchen. So, besides that, um, in their dollar bin, I got these Studio G ink pads purplish and a rustic brownish red okay and then I got the alphas the um, clear stamps the bigger ones by uh, that brand and these are on sale for like $2.99 or something like that so I got those and then my mom got me the value pack card envelopes thingy kit so I can make cards and then I got the Dollar Shipboard album by Mary Inglebright. Got that one, the tag, and that one. So those are really cute. And then my Tim Holtz alcohol ink applicator. And a pack of cardstock. These were only $2.50, very thick. But um, I like. Um, white because you can do really whatever you want with it so I got that and then I don't know I haven't really seen this on YouTube but the Chow Bella by DCWV paper pack is so pretty it was $14.99 or something like that at Michael's but I had to get it it was it's just absolutely beautiful I mean look at this paper isn't that beautiful glittery and cute butterflies really pretty I love that one I think I missed one maybe not yeah I did that one very very pretty very girly <laughs> but I had to get it. Very, very pretty. And you can even cut this little bird out and use him because he's glittery. But I thought that was a really, really gorgeous paper pack that I could not pass up, so I bought it. And then I also got some Prima flowers. These, they were about $5.99, and I already took them out of the package and put them in my little storage container. But that's the colors. So, that's that. And... Um, I did the technique by, I think, Natalie, um, from Belgium. Uh, she, instead of putting the embossing enamel on the flower and heating it with a heat gun, she put them in the Ranger melting pot. And, uh, I decided to do that because it's less messy. So, that's why I got the Ranger melting pot. And I did use, um, the Prima flowers. I tried some of them. I didn't want to use all of them because I didn't know what the effect was going to be. So I tried them. And I think they came out really, 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 really cute. So here's the finished product. Let me get the hair off of this one. There's the finished product. And here's what they did look like. Whoops. But as you can see, they look really different. Very shiny and pretty. So I did those, and I went on a flower shopping spree. I'm like crazy about buying floral flowers, you know, for floral arrangements. Because instead of buying like a package of maybe like 10 flowers, you can go to Hobby Lobby or the dollar store and buy a bouquet that has like 50 to 100 flowers for 250 or so. So I did go to my dollar store and I bought I think three bouquets of flowers. So let me just or no, four bouquet bouquets. So let me just show you those and I did use the uh, ranger technique on all of the flowers, so I'm going to show you all of them. So I got these at my dollar store. I got a lot of them. I mean, 
it filled up this. And then some, because I have some for my friend as well, in a container. But here's the result. This is before and after. And as you can see, it's very beautiful. Um, then I got the same design of flower, but in a different color. Blue. And again, a lot of flowers and still some for my friend over in the bag over there. And then these are really cute. I thought this was a really good flower from the dollar store. Green. They're really pretty. And this is how it came out. I thought it looked really cute. Turned out really nice. And I did two of them. But again, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of flowers. And I also got some white flowers from the dollar store. And they were really, really cute. And I tried the UD Technique on them. And I already knew that if you put like a red or a darker color of flower in your UD, it's going to stain your UD. So I waited to do my red ones after I did all my lighter color ones. So here's how that one came out. It's kind of rustic. I don't know why it got that brown color. This was the first one that I did. Maybe it like burnt it or something. But it turned out really cute. It's kind of vintage looking. And then after I did the red flowers, it had a little bit of red in it, so I decided, just for fun, do one in the red. And it kind of turned out kind of cute. Kind of not. Whatever. <laughs> but that's all from the dollar store. I need to hurry up. Then I went to Hobby Lobby and got these really, really cute purple flowers. A lot of them for $2.50. And this is how it turned out. So, I mean, the before and after, I think this one's really, really cute. So, that's how that one turned out. I mean, they're just as good as any other flowers that you can buy for like 10 bucks, you know? So, yeah. Then I got these yellow ones. That's the before and after. And like I said, it fills up a lot. And this isn't even all of them. Some of them are with my friend Hillary, as I said. And uh, then these came from Joann's. I'm doing this kind of out of order. But these were really gorgeous. And they come kind of, you know, cupped up. But when you put them in the UD, they flatten out. And they're kind of Hawaiian looking, and they're really, really cute. So I thought that came out really, really cute. So, I mean, give it a try. It's not going to hurt you or anything. And these are the last ones that I did. And these came from uh, Hobby Lobby. Very pretty red. And after dipped in UD, they look like that. So, they didn't come out as I wanted them to. Because these are really, really pretty, and I wanted them to have a really gorgeous effect. But they're kind of equally pretty. And I save my leaves, because you never know what you can use them for. I mean, tissue boxes or, you know, whatever. So I saved my leaves, and I also got, to go along with those red burgundy flowers, I also got some feathers, some black and red to go along with it it would look really really cute on like a card or something like a Valentine's Day card or something so that's all I have to show y'all and I hope y'all enjoyed that and I hope this encourages y'all to go and buy some uh, floral arrangement flowers and make your own really cute embellishment flowers because it's really easy and the Ranger melting pot is not expensive the UD is a little expensive, but go and try it because I know a lot of y'all use like the Prima flowers and put it in UD. But um, if you're looking for like um, fabric flowers, try your embellishment. I mean your uh, floral arrangement flowers because these turn out really cute. I mean, uh, let's see here. Even with brads, they're really, really cute. So just try it out and uh, I hope it works. Bye.